Hey you guys, so happy Monday. So this is Girl in the Price. I decided to do an episode of What's Hot, What's Not on this episode of The Fuse. And so before my clients get here, I wanna show you what a particular price range would get you nowadays depending on what you're looking in. So the home we're showing first is listed at 219,000. So let me show you what 219,000 on the north side of town would get you for your money. And don't forget, I want to be your real estate broker for life. Give me a call, right? Fusion Properties is my company. We're proud to be owners, and we would love to serve you from the capital to the coast. We're your realtor for life, so stay tuned. Let's see what 219.9 gets you on 28311 zip code in North Bay. So as you walk in, of course, you have a short little foyer here, but your staircase is right at the door, which is prevalent in a lot of homes that were built in the late 90s, early 2000s. Off to the left, you do have this separate area, which the floors are incredible. They use these large size, oversized tiles. They look really great. And the textured ceiling, that's prevalent again in this age of a home, but you can use this as a formal living room, a keeping room or sitting area. You know, that's the room you want people to go in that you really don't want throughout your house, right? Or you can use it as an office, however you decide. So as we go over this way, we also have a formal dining room. I wanted to cut the lights on for you, but um, the bulbs are not in that thing, in that fixture or they're spent. So this is a formal dining room, which a lot of people are getting away from using formals as formals. Some people with children are using them as um, rooms for daycare, for homeschool. So of course you can decide whatever you wanna use that for if you're not a formal family. Look at this incredible kitchen. So the granite countertops to me are just fabulous they painted their cabinetry a dark chocolate they use this incredible subway tile you have the sunken double sink they did keep the white appliances in here but the only reason i would say they don't look bad i'm gonna turn everything around for you right quick is because there's white in the subway tile so it really picks up the white in the appliances and it doesn't really make it stand off you know, in, a, in an odd kind of way. I think it's incredibly beautiful. Over here, you have a great room and or your sitting room or your TV area, which is right off the kitchen. Perfect for entertaining because even though it's not an open floor plan, it does have a really great flow. It puts you right in flow of traffic from the kitchen so people can still be in here watching TV, relaxing, having a great time. Or you have your eating kitchen area with the bump out bay window, love those with almost floor to ceiling windows just really really beautiful over in this closet should be a pantry yep so you have your pantry now you can also put wire racks in there you don't have to keep the wood racks as they have them that's an option you could put in you could request that the seller do that but i don't know why they would spend money on that since it's already functional and you kind of want to pick your battles when you're buying the house about decide where you really want to get the most bang for your buck is it closing costs is it sales price you don't really want to fuss over wire racks right <laughs> so this is a powder room right downstairs right off the kitchen centrally located for your guests so they don't have to go upstairs in your home and look at this huge laundry room with cabinets built in um, you could put more cabinets back here. Your washer and dryer would go right here. But this is a really great and spacious area. So let's go upstairs right quick. I'm just waiting on my clients to get here and that way I can show you what it looks like. Now up here, they didn't replace the carpet, which I would recommend doing if you're gonna put your house on the market because people are gonna see all this fresh coat, all the uh, paint, all the fresh um, tile downstairs and then they're gonna wonder, well, why didn't you replace the carpet? And then they're gonna ask you for it. So as a seller, you wanna freshen up and spend money on the most important things as much as you can so that the buyers don't start knocking price off. You know what I mean? So if you don't know what I mean, call me. I can teach you what we do to negotiate on your behalf as a buyer and as a seller. So you have this huge master bedroom. I came up the stairs so y'all hear me breathing. <laughs> but this is a huge room incredible space now the bathrooms are a little bit smaller but what's really cool they do have a single vanity here but look where you have all this great space is in this closet so you can add more shelving more racks in there as well and then you have the tower and bath i'm sorry tower <laughs> tile not towel but y'all want my time i need some more coffee bathtub and shower insert. And of course you have the tile floors 
They carry over upstairs really, really nicely. The toilet's tucked in there. We call that a water closet. Super cool. You have a really great size bedroom over here. I'm just gonna go to the other wall so you can see it. But this is a really large bedroom. Tons of wall space for furniture, um, extra vanities or, you know, chest of drawers, whatever you wanna put in there. Bureaus, I'm using old term, old language, right? <laughs> old people's, older people's language, but you know, whatever you wanna put in there, it can withstand heavier furniture. Look at this incredible bonus room. So I don't even think this video does it justice. This is a huge room. It has two regular closets. I showed this home over the weekend, so that's how I know that those are just regular closets. Oh my gosh, tons of space. And because this is not on the front facing side of the home, you could use this as an incredible media room. So also going back this way, we have another bedroom, an extra bedroom here. That's also a really great size. Any size bed, teenager, nursery, great room, regular size closet. And then the hall bath looks just like the master bath single vanity. You have the same tub and shower insert, water closet, and then linen closet. So this is a huge house and a lot of really great space for $219,900 on the north side of town. You can't beat this, right? So we have one, two, three bedrooms upstairs, a bonus room with closets. So you could use it as a bedroom if you wanted to. I mean, just a lot of space. And the air conditioning unit's been updated. The kitchen's been updated. So I don't know. I would say welcome home. Give me a call, 910-494-7798, and let us help you find your way home.